saying do what you love and the money, money will follow may sound a little cliche, but it is how our next guest lives his life. Daniel Mazzoni started creating art as a hobby and is now a successful artist. Welcome here to CT Style. Thanks for, Thanks for having for me. Joining us. Thanks Ma for having me. Making the trip all the way from New York, I might say. Yes, of course. You're originally from Toronto. Uh, originally from Toronto, yeah, moved to New York. Do you like Toronto or New York better? I love them both. I have all my family in both places, so. And how about Connecticut? Uh, Connecticut is my uh, first time today. Oh, 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 it's your first time. Yeah. So now it's your favorite. It's, of course. It, it, it just tops it everything, obviously. <laughs> of now, course. Now, you, you started doing art with your mother. She was an artist. Your aunts were artists as well. What did you kind of take in from them? Aunts and uncles were painters. Uh, my mom did painting and stained glass. Uh, stained glass was sort of my favorite growing up as a child. So, um, you know, I painted and did stained glass. But a, a, as I grew older, I, I started to do more collage work because... Uh, I felt like it was more fun to, you know, use the paper instead of the glass because there was, you know, each piece of paper had a different story. Like it could be a newspaper or it could be a picture of something. Mm -hmm. With glass, they were just sort of one color. So I just found it more interesting to do it that way. Where do you find are the best places to take the paper from? Is it from news clippings? Is it from uh, d different magazines? Well, you know, it, it, it depends on the subject for me. Like, uh, you know, for instance, I did one of uh, Napoleon. So, uh, you know, I'll really research the person that I'm going to do and... Uh, you know, and that, it, because it helps tell the story, and I can already vision how I'm going to put it together. Like for Napoleon, I went on auction, and I got newspapers from France from uh, 236 years ago wow. that were about Napoleon. So, uh, you know, that way when someone buys a piece of artwork, they're getting, you know, also a piece of history in there as well. And, and when you look at it, you can, order, you can sort of see the different parts of his life that tell the story of the person, right? Well, speaking of different parts, we yeah. have some photos here that we want to share with our viewers, and you can kind of walk us through it. That looks like Madonna. Or... Uh, th this is actually Marilyn Monroe. Oh, yeah. So uh, in the pictures, you can see that there's uh, different movie posters that she's done, uh, pictures of Hollywood, uh, Los Angeles, where she, was, uh, where she lived, uh, Time magazines in her hair. So this is just sort of the, the, the story of Marilyn Monroe. Very neat. We'll yeah. move on to the next photo here. Uh, JFK, this is actually one of my favorite ones. Uh, in his jacket, you have uh, all his wedding pictures. His uh, dress shirt is the inauguration tickets. Um, okay. the, the white stripes are a letter he wrote. It's a 10-page letter he wrote his father in World War II of how he wanted to be the president. Really? Uh, the red stripes. Uh, so you're taking copies of these and, and inserting yeah, them? Yeah, well, the, the, the newspaper in his face is actually an original. It's the November 3rd, 1963 newspaper in Dallas of, uh, mm. you know, the JFK sure. had died. Uh, the white stripes, are, are, are sorry, the red stripes is uh, pictures of roses that I ripped up because it's the national flower. Jeez. And then, of course, you know, JFK being, you know, Captain America. I use Captain America comics for the, the, the blue and, uh, and the stars. This had to take you quite a while, no? Yeah, they take me, you know, a little over 100 hours, 200 Jeez. hours to do. Because a lot of them are big. We have uh, uh, yeah. Here we go, Char Charlie Chaplin. These are a lot of his movie posters, uh, pictures of him on set, uh, pictures of him as a child, uh, different places that he uh, lived in England, uh, the British flag in his shirt, and then as well, in his tie, there's newspapers from uh, the 30s, from uh, their movie clips that mm -hmm. uh, he did. And, and the cool thing about this piece is you created the entire piece of art without speaking, right? Of course. Oh, uh, <laughs> just, just like Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Now, um, what advice do you have for young artists? Because you're, you're selling these pieces for uh, up to and over $15,000 right. a pop, and, and it's often said that there are starving artists. So right. what advice do you have for them? I, I think, you know what, not, not even just with art. I think, if, you know, for, for me, I had a lot of people tell me that, you know, that I've, uh, you know, that you're not going to make it. You know, a lot of people will say, no, you shouldn't do art. You know, maybe you should be a doctor or a lawyer or, you know, things that make money. And uh, you know what, with anything, whether it's art or something else you're going to do, you just have to give 100% and never listen to anybody. Mm -hmm. And, you know, give it all your heart and, all your, and put a lot of passion into it. And then, you and know what, the things money will, will follow. Come, and right? the money will follow. And your dreams will come true. And, you know, it's not always about money. It's about, you know, whatever f fulfills your heart. And, and what makes, makes you, happy. you happy, right? Yeah, exactly. We have a few more photos here, sure. Dan, that we'd like you to... Break down for us, little oh, Elvis. Elvis. So we have uh, Time magazines in his hair. His face is made up of uh, music notes that he's done. Uh, his shirt is actually pictures of different outfits that he wore during concerts. Uh, his face is also uh, movie posters and concert posters that Elvis was in. You have to have a lot of patience for this kind of stuff. Next photo. Yeah, uh, this is Picasso. So Picasso, this is uh, all ripped pictures of his artwork, different places he lived in Spain. Uh, you know, there's a Matador's jacket in there, there's uh, Spanish peppers, there's different pictures of his artwork and everything that tells the story of his life. Very neat. And we have one more. 
Uh, Betty Page. This is Betty Page. Uh, you know, on the carpet. This is Betty Page is from the '50s, so I used uh, you know the big cigarette brand back then was Lucky Strike. Okay. So the whole carpet's made out of Lucky Strikes. In the tiles, you have uh, love letters from World War II, comic books, and the from the '60s in the couch, and then everything else is just sort of. Uh, memorabilia from the 50s. Now these pieces look very neat on television, but I'm sure that they, they look even better in person. You have to see it in person, right. Yeah, and just, you have an upcoming show where people can do that. Yeah, there's a show on uh, this Thursday, May the 14th. It's from 7 to 11. It's at the Carriage House Center of Arts. Mm -hmm. It's between. It's on 38th between 3rd and Lexington. Okay, and that's in New York City. For in New York City. For watching, yeah. just a little reminder. And your website is daniel Dash Mazzoni dot com, correct? Yeah. Yes. All right, very good. Daniel, Thanks for thank you so me. much for joining Thanks. us here today on CT Style. We'll have Great. to have you back, and hopefully you guys can check out the upcoming show.